Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Iron 4, the real Tekken 8. And this time, we're gonna defeat Kaiser's Legion, no matter how fucking long it takes. Uh, and the answer is probably a long time. <laughs> probably a really long time. So, my idea is to cut up a lot of this, and, uh, yeah, if, uh, of course, my game stops exploding, that's gonna be a whole lot easier. There we go. So, see you guys in a bit, because we shall be clearing up this side of, um, of Kaiser. Why does he not? Okay. Uh, he was doing it, just not really being all that smarty smart. Um... All right, stop that. Um, and uh, obviously this is gonna be the most annoying thing, but hopefully we don't need to do it because he's already pretty low on the VPs. And uh, holy crap, that is really bad, really, really bad. Um, hopefully, hopefully, by just taking over all of this, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. But we'll see. So see you all in a little bit. Okay, so we have encircled what could, I think, be scientifically called a shitload of Navajo soldiers. Tribal warriors. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty okay on this front. Um, and yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Uh, however, the advance up here is proceeding extremely slowly. So, yeah, that's really sad. And we're starting to uh, finally branch out into Kaiser's territory with our robots coming in from here. So yeah, that's pretty great. Come on, hold you little shits. You are so close to getting relieved from here. Holy fuck, just hold. God damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is he really going to die? Come on, just get this encirclement and end this front once and for all. Uh, might. Might be possible. Oh god, one. Just get fucking everyone in there. Three days left, come on. Oh. Wait, he died with last stand? What the fuck? He died with last stand. That's balanced. Anyway. So as you can see, this front is still giving me the shits. But, oh well. Uh, we are advancing finally because we actually have troops here this time.
Okay, after a ridiculously hard fight, we're actually nearing Hopeville, although it's taking a while, but whatever. It is okay. And uh, Navajo is all but defeated, essentially, at this point. So, let's just expand the front line and uh, deal with them a finishing blow. How many have they lost? 55,000, holy shit, I didn't even know it was possible for a small nation to get so much in uh, the mod. But, apparently it is. And out here, it's uh, progressing. Everything is progressing, we finally got the encirclement. Which took so long and so much loss to obtain. But, it's ours and I think this nightmare of a front is finally getting over. Now we can take new hot, new Navajo, uh, and um, yeah, they're, they're mostly dead. Kaisar is still a little shit, but I think we've mostly dealt with that guy. I think it's finally over. I'm gonna need to unify these front lines, actually. And uh, go ahead and do like this, because these guys are our enemies too, so that's going to be your job from now on. There we are. And however, the advance down here through California and stuff is being slow as all hell, which is really sad. Really, really sad. Because I was. Hoping that this would be the fastest to get Kaiser to capitulate earlier. He's down to 400, he's, well, up to 400,000 casualties, which is not, not little. But he still hangs on like a little bitch. But oh well. Now we're launching one final apocalyptic assault on Hopeville. And uh, it should be successful. It should be successful. We've basically killed like every single one of their fighters, essentially, to our, to get to this. Like, if you look at their strength, unit strength, like they're all just dying. But it might not even be enough. But you know, we're just we might just have to, you know, kill every single last man inside here that holds a gun. But that's fine. We are ready to do that. So, get on it. And of course, the, all the sabotage. And there we go, the final assault. 22 divisions. It looks like we're going to lose, but, uh, you know, the thing is, some of their divisions just, you know, once they run out of organization, they don't have anywhere to run to, so, yeah. Eventually, they're just going to all surrender. And slowly but surely, our divisions will get the advantage. Look at that, look at that close air support. Holy fuck. That is so good. There goes Hopeville. You're mine, XD. Excellent. And now, all these guys go here.
Uh, there goes him. Good. Fucking hell. That took a while. Uh, and now I guess... These guys can go ahead and do this. Oh, holy shit, how, how hateful. How hateful. Then we've got these divisions holding against Heaven's Gate because we're justifying against them. And I don't think it's gonna be all that difficult to hold necessarily against them. It's just that pushing is gonna be difficult, but that's okay. And uh, you guys... You guys are now free to come here to Sky Reavers because we're also justifying against them. So there we go. Man, I'm 100% sure the AI in my game just broke because it's just taking so long to actually advance. Or maybe just the game is so slow as a whole. See, like, look, like these guys, there's nothing there and they don't actually attack. I really don't understand. I really don't understand. Anyway, let's go to war with some more people just to make sure the game is a little bit more slowed down. And uh, this is actually really good because it is gonna be a big old war with a lot of people so we don't have to justify on them. And uh, they're trying to cross, but that's not a good idea, I don't think. Well, even though, even though the supply over here is not shit, it's just my troops being shit. And their troops being actually surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. Anyway, uh, the AI is being dumb and sending 23 divisions there. Just the usual stuff. But yeah, I'm cleaning up the rest of uh, Kaiser over here. And holy shit, just kill him. Kill him before any of his friends get there. Very good, very good. He's now up to 425k casualties. What a grind. But I uh, sort of... I brought it upon myself, so I can't really complain now, can I? And I'm not sure exactly how the fuck this is happening, but oh well. Guess we have to deal with that too. There's now a million trillion divisions here. And yeah, the, the main thing that's really pissing me off is how slow it's taking to get, you know, across California. Like, divisions not doing what they're supposed to, and, you know, it's like, holy crap. Like, what the fuck are you all doing? You know, that kind of stuff. Why did he decide to do that? How the fuck did this guy get here? Like, exactly tell me. If no one else can. Like, get the fuck over here! I don't care about your low supply. There's no enemies. Just get in and kill them. Holy fuck. Ah, uh, worthless. Worthless, worthless, worthless. Man, is this his core territory? Oh, that explains a lot, doesn't it? This is all his fucking core. So you can still get a bunch of manpower and shit off of all of this. That is really annoying. And the reason why he can still do this. Fucking rip. And obviously this place is like extremely underdeveloped, so you know, it doesn't matter if I have like an air force or something, because there's no airfields. Yeah, so some close air supports are happening, but not much.
Okay, justification for Meadow Valley is finished, aka the Sky Reavers, and we shall declare one of them. And what's kind of funny is that the Sky Reavers don't have an Air Force, which is very sad, to be honest, but oh well, we're going to survive. And uh, in fact, they don't seem to... They don't seem to be wanting a piece of this. How interesting. How very interesting. They don't want to come after us. Uh, all fine and good. We're gonna come in and kill them when the time comes. Now... Next war is, I guess, uh, Washington Brotherhood. Yay! Isn't that gonna be fun? Uh, 175 days. We're not gonna get up there in 175 days, so no. Oh, crap. He actually did come across. In the end. Alright, that, that's, that's very fine. We're gonna survive. Uh, see, I'd like to fight the Painted Men as well, but I already don't have enough supply over here to fight Heaven's Gate, so... I guess not? I could just add this guy to the Coalition. Yeah, I'm just basically debating over, over who uh, we should fight. Oh yeah, the Fiends, right. Let's just clean these fuckers up. 100 days. All right. Let's go in, and in fact, it seems to be pretty damn effective. So for once, we're actually gonna have a war that's not gonna be like ridiculous. It seems like we're just gonna go in, murder them quickly, efficiently, and uh, yeah, then get out and kill someone else, like the white legs or something. Good stuff. He's fucking pilot promoted. Jesus Christ. Alright, bro, you done goofed. So I'm about to get the ba bossest encirclement of like four Heaven's Gate divisions. And, um, yeah, Kaisar is almost fucking capitulated. Look at that, 98% towards capitulation. Uh, but he still doesn't want to die, which is really sad. Come on. Don't let the little shit get away. All right. Good. We didn't let the little shit get away. That's one, the first good victory against these fuckers. And uh, this is slowing down too. I don't know, there must just be something weird about the AI that does not want to actually push into enemy territory, but... Oh well. Meantime, the Yakuza territories are fighting the Ripperalt territory. And uh, they're both killing each other. Which is kind of funny, honestly. That after so long, they two just decided, hey, we're just gonna go kill each other. Like, you know. They couldn't have decided to do it before.
And holy shit, our air force is actually fighting someone for once. They have 300 fighters. Looks like they are monoplanes. It's likely Heaven's Gate that's doing that. Yeah, probably. 